Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here and welcome to my first look at Destiny 2. Now today's first look video is going to be a little bit different rather than playing the game for just a little bit, jumping in and starting a first look recording. This time I've played Destiny 2 for a few hours. I feel like I've basically finished the first zone where you can do some missions and run the story. And uh, I'm going to do a post commentary on that, giving you guys my first impressions of Destiny 2. Now to get started, maybe I should start with how we're landing here. How the hell are we getting to Destiny 2 as a next game to take a look at? Well, first of all, um, I've heard all different kinds of opinions on the game and I thought that that was pretty interesting. Uh, first, I think I would say that I saw a... A pretty mixed review from Angry Joe, which I thought was pretty interesting. And I was like, well, maybe if the game goes on sale, I might take a look at that. I also saw some people uh, that made videos about how they completely given up on the Destiny series. But from my perspective, I think those were mostly rather hardcore players that burned themselves out on the game. And then what pushed me over was actually uh, the Jimquisition, uh, where I heard him comment that, you know what, I'm actually having fun in Destiny. Destiny 2. And so when it came on sale during Black Friday, I said, you know what, I'm going to purchase that. And uh, I now played for it for a couple of hours and I think I'm ready to give you guys some of my first impressions. So first of all, um, I'm having fun and this is from the perspective of a casual player. You know, I'm definitely not a hardcore player, but a casual player that has lots of time to play games and uh, does enjoy them. So from that perspective, I am having fun with Destiny 2. Uh, so the first part, of course, is that to tutorial phase pretty much the demo that I think everyone will have seen I've seen it on streams I've seen it in videos you basically get attacked and then you have to um, reconnect with uh, with some of the leaders and uh, at the end you lose the light you, you become mortal again and then you're thrown off a cliff and then the game is going to start and that's uh, all that stuff after the demo so uh, that first part you know pretty much on rails get to know the game but for someone that has never played destiny 1 that's maybe really important as well that i mentioned that i've never played destiny 1 and so this is my first foray in the destiny world um, it definitely did the job well and it showcased a very stable game a polished game a beautiful game as well i enjoyed the graphics and uh, a game with really nice cutscenes. Um, so far i think that i, I definitely saw those cutscenes as being very appropriate and uh, as, uh, as giving nice information and being very high quality. And then of course the final part that I really noticed here uh, early on is that the music, music is really amazing. I think that this is the most noticeable and epic music that I've heard in a game since uh, basically Skyrim. Um, that's for the games that I've played. I'm sure that in between there will have been other games but for me, you know, if you watch my Sunday recaps you know pretty much what I play and uh, here the music is definitely a very very strong point of the game so after that i came to a place called the farm um, after a little bit of adventuring which is like the first player hub and uh, there I was pleasantly surprised again i didn't expect it to be like that but you saw dozens of other players that uh, start out the game uh, together with you in the farm uh, trying to find their way in the destiny world and after that you basically have to look for some guy uh, that is uh, on top of uh, a church tower and uh, he gives you uh, like uh, the, the road to the next set of missions and in that world which, which I find very interesting you also come across other players other guardians uh, that are doing uh, their part in in the quests as well or in the missions and uh, that makes the world feel pretty damn alive I, I I'm actually enjoying that aspect that you can sometimes be surprised by oh there's another player there I can help him out a little bit or here's a public event that is starting so you can start really uh, fighting your way through uh, some pretty major waves uh, of enemies and, and often there's also like level 20 guys there that just uh, smash through things with crazy powers um, but it's it definitely helps to make this uh, world feel like it's it's alive like there's other people playing it and uh, like it's not just you against an endless wave of npcs but there's actually other players on your side as well um, when it comes to the class, I chose a Warlock because uh, I think everyone that I've watched play the game a little bit um, has been on a Titan and then uh, the next boss, uh, probable uh, most popular class, probably the Hunter, just because it's a very uh, popular NPC that, uh, that, uh, that's also a Hunter. So I chose completely the different route, a Warlock, and so far that's been decently enjoyable as well. Um, 
I like the ultimate power where you basically have a flaming sword, sword of the emperor, and uh, you can uh, just uh, throw uh, flames at your enemies. Feels pretty powerful. Maybe it doesn't last long enough, uh, at least for me. Maybe that's because I have terrible aim uh, and, uh, and situational awareness, but uh, it really doesn't last all that long. Doesn't make it all too overpowered. What I really like are the grenades. So there's like an A power that gives you a grenade that then AoEs around it. Very cool uh, to see that. And of course, then you have uh, a heal as well as the Warlock, which I think is actually very useful. Uh, just in general for you solo and when you come across other players uh, after that of course you get the weapons and the loot uh, so far i feel like the game has been very generous when it comes to loot and the weapons well they're very diverse uh, but there are quite a few of them that i don't like the feel of uh, so here my, my personal preference are for fully automatic weapons that i can actually have a pretty large magazine and i can continuously fire for a long time i like the snipers as well uh, I feel like those are pretty damn good. I don't like the shotguns I've had so far. Just basically takes too long for you to be able to uh, uh, take the second shot. Um, and then the pistols, well, if it's got a good uh, rate of fire, I like it. But uh, those hand cannons, for me personally, they're like a little bit too slow. But in general, all these weapons, you know, once you find a nice powerful one, you start to two-shot enemies, they are definitely quite rewarding to play with. They feel pretty good. And, uh, well, it's a shooter game, so you aim, you shoot, you try to go for the headshots. And uh, all of that stuff really does work very well. Destiny 2, I think, so far um, has been doing a pretty good uh, job of, of the, the shooter mechanics and all of that. Maybe one thing that I would have liked to see here at, at a couple points um, in, uh, in the missions when I was going into caves, I felt like, you know what, if I could have like a sneaky approach to all of this, have some sort of stealth capabilities, that would be really nice, but that sort of mechanic isn't really available there, at least so far uh, in my playthrough. It's much more of a run and gun, um, and then the bosses become bullet sponges, and uh, I do like the fact that you've got so many drops, so many diff different choices, and as a result, you can basically try to uh, kit yourself to, to the playstyle that you enjoy. And so for me, it's it's one sniper, you know, it's really annoying when you've got, when your best weapons are, are basically two snipers and a hand cannon, I feel like, well, what the hell am I gonna do with all of that? But if I've got like two automatic weapons, then a good sniper, uh, that's uh, that's my favorite uh, playstyle here so far um, in Destiny 2. Um, what have I been doing? I've been doing uh, a couple of missions to get the rewards and basically I think my next step is that I have to go uh, to Titan and for my first impressions as I've been saying here and I think you can tell I am enjoying uh, Destiny 2 I think it's actually a, a pretty damn good game uh, so far it's very solid and from the perspective as I've said of a pretty casual player that has a decent amount of time this is definitely something that I can see myself sink my teeth and I can understand that a very hardcore player uh, might not be all that happy with it and I can burn yourself out on the game very quickly but I think that here there is enough variety I've been doing some main stories. I've seen some um, some uh, some some group uh, events uh, that popped up. You know, you rally at a flag, and then all of a sudden, the the enemy sends forces in in, in pretty big and challenging waves. If there's just a couple of you uh, at you, and you have to try to kill those, um, and then there's also like some sort of caves that you can find where at the end you have a uh, boss monster to kill, and then you get some uh, some extra loot that way. If I were to compare this to any other game, right? If you've never played any Destiny game. I feel personally like this comes very close to, to a Skyrim experience. Maybe it's mostly because of the epic music that you've got there and because you're adventuring through the world of, of Destiny 2 following a story but with the potential of having side stories. I would say the plus, the, what, the, the things that Destiny 2 does, does better in my opinion, if I would compare that to playing some more Skyrim, would of course be that you've got other players in there as well and so you have constantly uh, this feeling that you're not alone in this world but that there's other players uh, running around doing stuff as well. You don't feel like you're that only one guardian, the one hero of the story that's doing stuff. Also, the, although the main storyline does, I think, uh, seem to be structured uh, around that premise that you are the one guardian who's got his light back and who's going to then save everyone. The fact that the other players are around there, I think, make that a little bit more nuanced and I actually personally like that. Uh, now. 
the other thing on the other hand that I don't like so much so far is the, the the world building the way it's all set up when you have to like hold tab to get to a sort of a map menu where you have a waypoint that you can get to uh, and then you can find some waypoints for missions but it doesn't definitely feels like it's it's more of a patchwork it's gonna be more of a patchwork of, of, of hubs where you do certain missions where you progress from level A to level B um, and then you go to another planet so that's again just a ship loading screen uh, in between there go to another place do some missions there that's done all right we'll move on to the next one and it doesn't feel as connected it doesn't feel like it's one big world one big universe where you're doing stuff uh, and, and you could conceivably uh, just go to a, a very difficult section just by walking there shooting the enemies and, and earning your way up there so it's, it feels like it's much more on rails and um, contained in in small hubs uh, compared to what you know uh, in Skyrim definitely does well is that it's it's one big sandboxy world but it's for one player of course and this one has all of those multiplayer aspects so that would be my first look at uh, Destiny 2 guys so far yes I am having fun I am going to continue playing that I feel like it's going to be worth the price just to experience the um, the, 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 the main plot line um, so, so the main story uh, missions and after that I do see myself trying to find other content around the map and also during uh, going for, for the main storyline so uh, basically I, I could have gone to Titan a lot earlier than what I'm going to do now but I chose to do some side missions there making myself a little bit more prepared a, a little bit more powerful and that's I think how you can take your time in Destiny 2 experience the whole thing so that you will have uh, enough hours out of the game uh, by the time that you finish the um the, the, the main storyline and then I think you will have to sort of make a choice am I going to get involved a little bit more with other players so that we can do harder content together maybe some repeating content some type of dungeons that that's what I've seen on on stream so far um, but that's that's a choice that we'll have to make uh, by the end of it and, and I do look forward to just playing uh, definitely that that first part going for some side missions doing my own thing in Destiny 2 and uh, seeing where the story uh, ends up at so there you go guys uh, we'll see how much content i can uh, give you when it comes to destiny 2 but for now that's it for this one thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time